Unsung has always supported linking backing tracks in your iTunes music library to chord charts in your Unsung library. One major request has been to do away with iTunes for managing backing tracks, and in Onsong 1.93, we've done just that. Onsong now has a full-featured music media manager. Let's take a look at importing, managing, and linking custom tracks, and how that works in Onsong 1.993. First, you can import audio files right into Onsong, just like a chord chart file. This means you could do it from Mail, Safari, or from the import screen in Onsong. We're going to take a look at importing audio files and linking them to chord charts in Onsong's built-in audio media manager. To link an audio file to your chord chart, tap and hold on the audio playback live bar button. This will open the audio track picker. Here you can choose from an audio track that Onsong has found based on the title of the song that you are viewing. To choose a different track, tap on the Choose Custom Track option. If you have your song in your iTunes music library, tap on the iTunes option. But for this video, we're going to tap on the Onsong Media Library option. The Audio Media Picker lets you organize and manage your songs, and then pick one to link to your chord chart. Let's first start by importing some music. Tap on the plus button in the upper right corner and choose Dropbox. Let's import these ambient tracks by Carl Vercade and some loops that we've created in GarageBand. As the files are imported, they are added to our media manager. When we're done adding audio tracks, we can tap off of the popover to browse our tracks by artist, song name, and album. All this information is acquired from the metadata in the audio files. Now let's tap on artists and then tap on Carl Vercade. To choose a track for our song, we just tap on it. We're prompted to update the song information from the metadata contained in the audio file. If we agree, the duration of the song is set to match the audio, and the tempo is set based on the song as well. There, we've just linked a custom audio track to our chord chart that we can play by tapping on the audio live bar button. Now, aside from letting you pick audio tracks, the Audio Media Manager screen lets you manage those tracks too. Let's go back into that screen. To manage a track, we swipe from right to left to reveal the delete and edit buttons. Tap on edit to view details about the track. Here we can change the song title, artist, album name, and copyright information. Tap on the play button to preview the song and scrub to a location to listen to it. This is useful for adjusting the volume, which we can do down here, or the pan settings. Tap Done to save your changes. If you no longer need a track, you tap on the Delete button to remove it from your media library. Keep in mind that audio files that you import into your media library are contained inside of your Onsong app. If you're planning to use audio tracks in multiple apps, we suggest using the iTunes music library to avoid multiple copies of the file since they do take up space on your device. Your media also gets backed up in your Onsong backup file, so those files may get quite large depending on the size of your library and how many audio files you have imported. To sum up, Onsong can now maintain a library of custom tracks and ambient pads that no longer requires iTunes to manage. You can simply import audio tracks into Onsong and manage them from one convenient place. We think this is a great feature you'll enjoy. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to contact us at support at onsongapp.com.